this could change naval warfare forever. The UK is testing drone submarines that don't need sailors this week as part of Operation Atlantic Bastion. And if they work as intended, it's going to completely transform the Royal Navy's future. Specifically, the Royal Navy is trialing multiple types of unmanned underwater vehicles from different defense companies to find the best one. The UK government has chosen several companies and said they will, quote, conduct a fair and transparent assessment against proposals by competitors. But here's what you need to know about why this is happening right now. This testing comes as the UK is dramatically increasing its military presence in the North Sea to counter Russian warships and submarines. Just weeks ago, the UK banned Russian vessels from sailing through the North Sea and English Channel. And now they're deploying drone submarines to enforce this blockade. One of the key systems being tested is the SG-1 Fathom, an AI-enabled autonomous underwater glider built by European defense firm Helsing. This 6.3-foot-long drone weighs just 132 pounds but can patrol for up to three months at depths that put it completely out of sight. The SG-1 is being mass-produced at Helsing's new Resilience Factory in Plymouth, which opened in November 2025 and is already cranking out these submarine hunters. But here's the game changer. The Royal Navy has also unveiled Excalibur, a 12-meter, 19-ton uncrewed submarine built through Project Cetus. This XLUUV, extra-large uncrewed underwater vehicle, is the largest autonomous sub ever trialed by the UK and can be controlled from 10,000 miles away. In fact, during a recent AUKUS exercise, operators in Australia controlled Excalibur while it was submerged in UK waters. The bigger picture is Operation Atlantic Bastion, a seven-year, 400 million pound program that aims to create a layered sensor network across the North Atlantic, specifically to detect, track, and deter Russian submarines around the vital Druk Gap, Greenland, Iceland, UK. The program has two phases. Atlantic Net uses a contractor-operated model for immediate deployment, while Bastion Atlantic will see the Royal Navy directly owning and operating a fleet of uncrewed platforms, including the Type 92 uncrewed surface vessel and Type 93 underwater chariot. These drone subs are not designed for combat yet. They're intelligence gatherers that can sit on the seabed for months, listening for enemy submarines, and then surface to transmit data via encrypted channels. But the question is, will these silent hunters actually deter Russia, or will Moscow deploy its own drone submarines to create an underwater drone war in the North Sea.